Yo, what's up? Today we'll be talking about uh, TMC um, and just kind of my thoughts on it, what, what's happening, why it's currently exploding on the week, um, what got into that, and kind of its long-term picture here. Um, and this is hopefully for people that want a better understanding. It's a little bit of DD on both sides. Um, but we're just going to get right into this. So this is uh, last week. This is the director. They bought almost 4 million shares at $0.75, cents and we're trading at... Uh, 134. So it's about a 60 cent difference, and I, I'm gonna pull up the calculator here. So this is just in really no time at all. If we take 0. 0.60 times their their four million shares almost, they are up almost two and a half million <laughs> in just a week. Um, but I do know the director from reading different articles and on the website, uh, a strong believer in in the project and definitely wants to to succeed, obviously. Um, but this kind of sparked that 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 rally we're seeing right now, um, and we'll kind of go into the long term effects of this too, and, and kind of the bigger outlook. So again, this is just the director's, um, I don't call it the profile, but the recent buys. But you can see this one for four million shares. Um, this was on the eighth, so just last week, last Thursday. Um, and I'm just gonna move from tab to tab. Uh, this is something that's pretty big too. This is the ISA, um, their International Seabed Authority. They're the ones who kind of make the law for international waters and it's like, hey, what, what can happen here? What's gonna happen here? Or we allow this, we don't allow this. You can do this, you can't do that basically. Um, and this is their timeline for this. They're expected to meet here in July. Um, and this is gonna be huge for TMC because it's gonna be basically approval on what they can and can't do um, and how they can operate and kind of deep sea mining as a whole moving forward. Um, I'm gonna leave all these links in the description because I don't wanna take a half an hour video of going through each one. Um, but they're all going to be down there if you want to look at them and, and, and see. As you can see, there's, there's different journals on here. Um, this kind of just explains what they do very briefly, the dates and everything, what they're going to be talking about. Um, excuse me. Moving forward, um, I don't want to focus solely on TMC itself because it's like, oh, look, TMC is so great because TMC said so. Um, but I will kind of hit some main points on, on what, they're, what they're doing here socially. Um, this is their Twitter. They're pretty active on Twitter, which I think is a good thing. Um, I think it's a good thing for a company to be um very transparent and not like hidden and talking to people or not you know talking to people but kind of like posting something every every month or so but they're pretty active uh, i probably tweet once or two three two three times probably a week i'd say um and they're just constantly pumping out information about what they're doing and what's what their plan is um which is good but again it's coming straight from them so i can understand why people don't want to be like oh well of course they're gonna say they're great yeah i get that um the next thing i'm going to show you here this can be um, this could do one tab, but I just have like four different pages open from the different the company itself. This is their website. Um, it kind of basically briefly goes over what, what their ideal goal is here. Uh, they're going to mine for the minerals to create uh, batteries for electric vehicles or just electric vehicle batteries in general. Um, that all goes over here. These are the four main ones that go into it, uh, which is what they'll be mining, mainly nickel um, and cobalt. So you'll see that a lot when it comes to like, oh, what they plan to mine, what they want to mine. Uh, this is what was I thought was huge is the environmental impact, which I think will bring a lot of uh, people to this. Is just how unhealthy it is for for people to mine on the on the ground. Um, you have the different mines, and I know there's some in Asia, uh, South America, Africa. Just those big open mines that they just drill all day. Um, terrible for the environment, and then it doesn't take. Their website to prove this you could look that up and do it yourself um that's something i, I can trust and believe uh, moving forward i have their timeline which i thought was pretty interesting uh right now we're here um that they the next big thing like i said was the was the isa um application and approval um it was what we're kind of waiting for but they're getting contracts um you'll see next two years here they expect to start mining um 10 million tons per year I did see a while ago kind of a breakdown on that, how much it would be. Um, someone like shared the price of the metals today versus like how much it would be if they sell it and then outstanding shares and how much each share should be worth, you know, some weird breakdown like that. And it was some astronomical number, which um, was kind of out there. But um, if they can, you know, provide and, and improve, they can mine these materials out that, that that's that's um, going to be at the ocean. This this company could see huge potentials. Not to mention, if they start partnering with these big um, EV companies that that need these materials for their vehicles, um, uh, I'm just I'm just throwing companies out there. But like if Ford or GM or Tesla want a cleaner route to get their materials to make the batteries, they could go through here and um, 
it could just be a better working environment for for everyone or, or, or just something that works out in everyone's favor um the next two i just had like faqs just showing you know they're pretty serious about like hey you know we're being as transparent as we can and then this final slide was something that was more important this was their breakdown of uh errors they're, they're approved in so excuse me as you can see this is the area in the world so off the coast um the i'm a brain fart the west coast of america and you can see how they have the areas labeled too so they have these actual areas that they've explored and like hey you know these are good spots to mine so they know where they're going to be getting their uh, resources and materials from and then they have um other areas too because again this all kind of hits on the approval on like hey if this gets approved this is what we're going to be doing that um but this is just kind of going over like hey we'll be getting it here and here is just you know different environmental factors and how much is there what what could go wrong what's 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 going to happen if they mine there basically it's like a whole breakdown um again i'll put all these uh in the description below and finally getting some more outside factors here um these are just articles uh, i thought this one was interesting because norway uh seems to be going this way itself i think as we progress in the next 5 10 15 years this will be definitely be a future and more and more common thing that we see um as because these mines um on land are going to run out you, once once it's gone it's gone can't keep mining if there's nothing there um, obviously there's still a lot to go i'm not saying it's going to happen you know overnight but um, there's still a long ways to go when it comes to this type of mining. So people are looking to alternative routes and that's why you see a whole country saying, Hey, you know, let's, let's look into this. Let's, let's dive deeper and, uh, think about this. Um, so it just goes over what Norway proposes and wants to do. I think there was a map here. Yeah. So this was their map too. Um, there was Norway like, Hey, this is where we thinking we'll mine at. And it, it's a pretty simple breakdown. Again, I'll post it in the description. And then finally, um, we just have something else. This just breaks down TMZ from an outside view. Um, which I thought was pretty good. They talked about, they were comparing them to a company Russia had, um, kind of a different cost breakdown. It started start in 2024, early 2025, which is what their timeline says. So um, that was right here. Just going off that and then kind of projecting what they will be making, what they'll be doing and, and different things like that. But yeah, this was the breakdown. Let me know how I did. I thought I did pretty good. <laughs> but uh, I appreciate the views. Thanks guys, bye.